Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 2x4 test tent with another unboxing video. This one's actually from uh, our friends at MaxiSun. Uh, they sent, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, they did the super unboxing where they sent me pretty much every light that they carry and I unboxed them all, tested them all, and uh, they were all pretty good for the money. So they're uh, now going to get into the LM301B diodes. Uh, their other lights were just random uh, SMDs and uh, this is going to be a whole new level. So this should be uh, pretty interesting. Uh, we've got all the uh, usual meters here. We got the uh, meter meter, we got the par meter, the watt meter, and the heat meter, and of course baby katana. So let's get this stuff out of the way and we will get into the box. This is from Amazon as you can see. So we'll see if it's a box in a box like it usually is. All right. And it looks like it is, wow. And this box does not want to cooperate, so we're just gonna go ahead and rip the shit out of it. There we go. All right, get this out of here. Hey! All right, there we go. As you can see, we got the dimmable MF, it's supposed to be 1500, <laughs> it was 150 dot 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 five foot flowering coverage. That's not five foot flowering coverage. <laughs> All right. Let's get in here. Yeah, never, never really believe any of the claims that any of these companies really make. Just trust the uh, the numbers of the the par meter. Everything else is usually bullshit. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's see what we got. All right, nicely packed. Looking good. Got the uh, user's manual. Pretty basic. You guys want to pause it and take a look? Feel free. Three year limited warranty says what's covered what's not covered how to return warranty service all that good stuff there we go we got rope ratchets and they listened look at that they got the metal gear rope ratchets hell yeah way to go maxi son good stuff we got the hanging kit and then we got the light so let's uh let's pull this sucker out of here all right there we go all out of the box and this is definitely a new design for them if you remember before they just had the uh the bare metal board and it was just a basically just a slab of metal and that was all that was there to cool it now they've got this fancy heat sink very similar to what uh vipar spectra does and I like their design but then they've also taken a page out of the book of Mars and put a reflector on it look at that so this is just like all kinds of innovations all rolled into one pretty cool definitely of interest especially with the LM 301 B's there's the uh, particulars on the side. If you want to check that out. But yeah, it's pretty slick looking. I dig it. Nothing really blocking the, uh, the light. Got a good amount of, uh, of metal on the back. These fins. And then the driver that it comes with. 
There's your driver info. It's a Sozin driver. And it does come with a dimmer. So you got your dimmer knob. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I think it'll perform really well, honestly. So let's uh, let's hook this up and see what it can do. All right, guys, we are back and got this all hooked up. It is looking pretty sharp, actually. Check out the view from below. That is nice. Now this is at its lowest setting right now, so it's not all that bright. More like what you'd want to use for uh, for cloning, really. Take a look at the uh, meter here. Looking about 70 par, which you could definitely use that for cloning. Uh, cloning is is something kind of weird. It's it's. Um, a little bit the opposite of what you normally would want to do. Normally you just want to throw light at the plant, but uh, in cloning they don't have any roots, so they don't really uptake a whole lot of nutrients. So when you overload them with light, they tend to yellow out really, really quick because they just can't, they can't eat. So the less light that you can use for cloning, the better. So that should work really well. And that's, like I said, all the way down, dimmed down as far as it'll go. So let's take it up to, uh, Let's take it up to like 20% and we'll see where we're at. There we go, 20%. And you can see the wattage draw in the other screen there. So we're looking at 180, 182, around there at 20%. Now we'll kick it up to 40%. Stabilize it there. All right, 315. That's perfect to veg with. 300 to 400, really, really great to veg with. Now we'll kick it up to 60%. And 411. That's on the edge of too much to veg with, but not quite enough to flower with. Now we go to 80%. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting into flower territory. That is for sure. Anything above 500, you're going to get pretty decent bud, bud production all the way up to about 800 or so. Anything above that, you'll usually need to really have your nutrients dialed in and maybe even use CO2, especially if you're going above 1,000, to have it be effective. So that's really good right there. So let's go ahead and just crank it up, bam, all the way, as far as it'll go. And holy crap, 750, 740, let me stabilize the light here so it's not swinging around. Yeah, 750, 748, yeah, holy crap. That is really good. That is really good for this little light to push 700. Ooh, damn. And uh, there again, this is at 16 inches. As usual, I'll just uh, show you guys here. Now, I did uh, measure it at 16 inches from the board, not from the bottom of the reflector, because that's not really fair. Because the lights are actually, the diodes are actually at the board level. So, 16 inches, there you go. So, that's really good, guys. That is really, really good. Let's check the uh, the two foot edges here. Go to the center. 450. So you could use this in a two by two. You definitely could use this in a two by two. Cause you're gonna have a uh, higher reflection here too. So even if I put my hand on there to reflect more, it goes up to 500. So if you've got a, a tent edge, that's gonna raise it up quite a bit. Yeah, that's definitely a 2x2 two two flower light, I would say. And then over here on an edge where there's no, no reflection at all, that's what you're going to get over there, about 450 on the edge with no reflection. Just for shits and giggles, let's take it 
all the way to the four foot edge and we'll angle it in a little bit just to see what we get at four feet. 220, almost enough to, uh, to veg with, almost. I think maybe if we raise this light up a little bit, let's see, does it go up a little? Uh, yeah, I just raised the edge of it. I just grabbed the edge and lifted it up a little bit just to see if angling it would, would do a little bit. If you could push that to 275 to 300, you could definitely veg. So this may actually, I, I, would, I would suggest for this light based on these readings, I would say two foot by two foot flower and three foot by three foot veg. I'd say that would be just about ideal for this, uh, for this setup. That's really good. That's really good coverage. Holy crap. Maxi Sun coming up in the world. They did it again. It's another nice light. Hell yeah. So let's uh, go ahead and let this warm up a little bit and we'll get some heat readings. I imagine the heat readings are going to be really, really impressive because of all the metal that's on this. I mean, you not only have the additional heat sink here, but then you have all this metal here. So this is, uh, this is actually a pretty good design. <laughs> I gotta hand it to him. But let's uh, let's let it warm up and I'll be right back. All right, we are back and I've let this warm up now. So we can take a look, see what kind of readings we can get. Looking at really good actually, 124. It's about eh, six or seven degrees cooler than a lot of them are. That's really good. And then you can't really get a accurate reading on this part because it's uh, such a bright shiny metal. So it'll save quite a bit lower. Uh, the driver is pretty warm though. That is one thing. The driver's running 130. So it's definitely working uh, real hard to push this light where it's, where it's pushing it. But still not outside the range of course. Uh, this is a fanless unit so it is going to be um, where all the metal surfaces absorb the heat and heat up that's that's what that's what this thing's supposed to do so uh, don't really get worried about the heat coming off of it um, it's it's what it's made to do now if you want to help it out a little bit you can always put a fan on top here a little clip fan or something on the side um, just any sort of airflow across these fins is really going to help you out so that's something I would definitely advise uh, for the future uh, if you're going to use this light. Overall, it's uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, the build quality is pretty good. The um, the reflection is really good. Uh, it's a, a really fine footprint. It's not bleeding too much light uh, to the sides. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. And I mean, it's using Samsung diodes and a a decent driver. So pretty good stuff, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, this video. Uh, if you uh, want to check this slide out, check it out below. We got the uh, links down there. And uh, until next time, guys, happy growing.